Okay, so part two is conducting these interviews with ideal members. And the first step here, I've found this is like such a silly first step, but it is so important. Just make a list, <laughs> make a list of people. And it'll, that list itself will hold you accountable to being sure that you do like reach out to all these people. So I made just like a drafted list of ideas of people you can reach out to. Here's the thing. Some of these people might be your ideal members. A lot of them won't be, but they are connected to an ideal member. So you can even kind of have two different, maybe two different parts of your list. One is like people who could be a bridge to an ideal member. And the other is people who you, who you would like to interview. So you can consider friends and family, hobby friends, current colleagues, past colleagues are great. If you're speaking to a past self, think about who were the people you knew in that season of your life? Who were the people in your circles? People who said no to you, this is my favorite. Okay, so client call, I have like discovery calls and I have clients who will book a discovery call, but they don't end up working with me. I love to go back to them and say like, hey, I'd love to conduct an, a quick interview with you if you're open to it. People who said yes to you, also great. Sometimes though, you got to be careful. Sometimes people will say yes to you and they're not even your ideal member. So just because they said yes to you doesn't mean that they are your ideal member and you got to kind of watch yourself there. Scroll through your LinkedIn contacts, th scroll through your LinkedIn inbox, see who have you direct messaged. Scroll through your contacts on your phone, Facebook friends, go through Slack messages. If you're in any communities, look at any direct messages that you've had with people, people you've connected with in the past. In the hearth, are there people who you've been DMing with? Like that could be an ideal member. Did I miss anything? Did I miss any circles? Comment in the chat. I'd love to know if anything came to mind. Oh, that's awesome. Mortiza, the first 30 Heartbeat customers came from creating lists and asking for intros like this. We got a surprising amount of referrals from people that told us no. That's amazing. Okay, I don't think we missed anything. That's a good that's a good list to get you started. So if you're gonna, my my goal for this was I wanted to have 10 interviews. I ended up, I think my first list was like 20 people who I reached out to. And I was like pretty shocked that I I got 10 interviews on the books. That's not like a normal conversion rate. I I was like reaching out to people who I had like pretty close contact with. Um, so you might shoot to even have like 30 to 40 names on a list to get those 10, 10 interviews. And that's not, it's, it literally is just a numbers game. It's not you. It's not that you're doing anything wrong and people won't respond or don't do an interview. It's just a numbers game. So don't get discouraged. 